xenomorphs live together in harmony. Then everything changed when the PlayStation Nation attacked. We have an anonymous $10 donation. My wonderful partner, now my husband, has watched HDQ with me since I can remember. Shout out to Hitomaru for being the best. Less than three. And thanks for a great AGDQ to all the runners and staff. We have a $20 donation from James, loving the dreadful block. The couch is on fire tonight. We have a $250 donation from the voice of Jake. The Animorph series games are glorious trash, but the books are really good. Enough for me to release a fan-made audiobook 20 years after they were published. This donation is for my sister, fellow Animorphs fan, voice of Rachel, and cancer survivor. Let's do it. We have an anonymous $150 donation. Animorphs was my favorite book series growing up, so I guess that justifies staying up late to watch this? We have an anonymous $12 donation. Awful Block, you're destroying my sleep. I love that I get to watch live. Even better to donate for the first time. Gotta see that Dishonored DLC. We have a $200 donation from Retro Next Gen. Got to donate during the Awful Games block. A highlight of an amazing event. Thank you runners and staff for organizing for a great cause. We have an anonymous $25 donation. I had to donate to compensate for the productivity loss at work somehow, so there it is. So now we're going to switch it over to an interview with Kizaron and Jay Hobbs. All right. Well, I am here with Kizaron, and congratulations on going over estimate. <laughs> I mean, it's about the journey, not the destination. Right, right. Except when there's like major scheduling and everything. Really right. <laughs> well, let's talk about that journey a little bit. Why don't we? Uh, first, I, I couldn't help but notice the, the shout out to me. Thank you. Thank you for the Hobbs You're slides. Welcome, man. Thank you. I'm also glad that you dropped a lot, so I looked a little bit okay. Because, <laughs> yeah, that was a. You did still drop less than me, though. Yeah, it's, to, it's true. Had it's to true. Call, out, call me out on that. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. So, <laughs> take me through the couple things that had actually never happened, like the. the uh, Phasing through the platform. <laughs> um, well, you see, Animorphs is a wonderful game. Right. Um, as we saw. Um, if I could tell you what happened, I would. I'm just as confused as you. I guess uh, boundaries mean nothing in Animorphs. Right. Okay. All right. <laughs> and when you were, you know, trying all of those skips and failing every single one of them except one, where, you know, where, 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 where was your headspace? <laughs> um, not good. Ah, ah, yes, yes, not good. Okay. <laughs> Care to elaborate at all? No. Um, very not good. <laughs> ah, yes. Okay, you know, like, there's, like, this level of, like, this is good, this is bad, this is worse. I was below the table. Yeah, okay. <laughs> all right, well, I'm going to ask a couple social media questions for you here. First one comes from Michael Silva. Best, can you describe your first experience playing the game in five words or less? Worst experience of my life. 
Yeah, five. That's pretty Dude. impressive. All right. <laughs> Sounds about right. Did you actually play it casually first, or were you just like, no, <laughs> screw that? No, I just, I just went. Yeah, okay, I figured. And you did not lie. That was basically Crash Bandicoot, down, right down to the stupid flying gimmicks. Yep, yep, <laughs> yep. All right, well, let's go to the next social media question from The Alien Machine. When is your remix of the song from the Dragonfly level going to drop? Next question. <laughs> if the demand is actually there... Maybe 2018. Oh, not even, I was giving you 2019, but mm, 28. No, no, oh, this year. man. Got, got to keep the hype going. Is, gotta be, is that like kind of when they talk about how Kingdom Hearts is coming out in 2018? And yeah, yeah, yeah. In 2021? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm sorry. I'm like already just laughing too much from that. Uh, Dr. Doobie 3 says, are you ready for the third Animorphs game next? I mean, if Games Done Quick is both kind and foolish enough to let me do the third one, then yes, I'm ready. All right, I, I want in on that that like six person relay. By the way. <laughs> Just don't give me Game Boy Color. You'll love the Game Boy. No, Color I don't think though. I will. <laughs> no, you don't like mashing A and just dying because of RNG over and over. Well, I'll think about it. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, next one. Th this one's actually almost too serious for us to ask, but I'm gonna ask it anyways. Uh, Nido, uh, Nido P. Ians. That I said that wrong. Nitopians. Not Wow, Nitopians. Why, why are you giving the interview? <laughs> it is early morning, folks. Hi. Uh, they asked, uh, did you read the novels as a kid? And which, if, if so, do you remember which was your favorite? I never read them. The only thing I did was I, like, I got the books from the library. And on the bottom right corner, they show the person morphing into whatever animal was uh -huh. featured on the cover. So that's all I did. I just flip booked it. <laughs> that's it. No, nothing. I, have, just, I knew nothing just, about Animorphs until I played the Game Boy game, and I don't think that was the proper representation of the series, so I, I know nothing. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't think that's probably very good about the series. No. Oh, man. All right, so what is it that draws you to just stupid choices? <laughs> just like, like playing games like that. Um, I mean, yeah, they're terrible, but it's just kind of fun to see how broken a game can become. Mm -hmm. And, like, we, we saw it on full display. That, that was true. a broken game. Yeah. And people tend to love watching that kind of stuff. People love watching other people fail. <laughs> Might as well feel that niche. All right, sounds good. Did you end up sleeping at all before this, or have you just been up and I you're like, this is just going to fuel me I took right through. one hour of a nap. One hour. All right. <laughs> it, is, it is very tiring. While I'm at it, what were the qualifications for Mikey Yama to be on your couch again? Because you told me about this before, um, but I want so people to know. I asked him. I was like, hey you want to be on the couch? And he was like, I have the game. Like, that's better than 99% of everyone else. All right, you're yeah. in. You're in. <laughs> I'm pulling you in. All right, well, you know what? I'm not even going to let this go on too long. So are you hungry at all? Oh, I'm starving. You want to get some French toast? Did I hop? Yeah. Let's go. All right, let's go. See you guys. Bye. Uh, but ho Hobbs? Pr prizes? Eh, whatever. Pancakes are better anyway. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, good morning, guys. Uh, we got a couple of pretty interesting prizes for you uh, this morning throughout the rest of off Awful Block. I always called it Awesome Block. It, it kind of is, in a way, uh, the horrible way that none of us want to recreate ever. Um, so, you know, first up, we uh, have from Iggy Ziggy, uh, the At Games Genesis Flashback Console. Uh, it's $15. Um, you know, Mike on the couch has been trying to convince me for years that the Genesis doesn't belong in Awful Block and it has great games on it. Still, still hasn't happened, but one of these days I'm sure he'll get me to it. Um, you know, next up here from Fan Gamer and uh, the Legends of Localization team, we have a really interesting book, This Book Be Bad Translation, Video Games. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up, frankly. It's full of all of the horrific translations from classic games like Zero Wing and uh, all, all the other, you know, silly things people quote online all the time and basically how things got to that state, how the translation was, uh, was messed up in the first place. Um, we have this lovely 3D printed Bubsy figurine here. Um, I, I hate to use the words lovely and Bubsy in the same sentence, but, you know, honestly... Uh, it's, it's actually a pretty detailed figure. It even comes with a little, uh, it's probably hard to see on camera, but there's a little Games Done Quick engraved, in, engraved into the base. So, uh, you know, it's, it's very commemorative in a strange and horrible kind of way. Um, and, you know, finally, we have this lovely 
Octodad tie uh, for Fangamer and Young Horses. It's, it's a beautiful red tie for normal human dads who just want a normal human tie to wear to work. Um, you know, the, the scrupulous of you might say, Sent, I don't, I don't think Octodad's in Awful Block. Well, that's because this prize is awfully scheduled. Don't worry about it. It fits the theme, I promise. And finally, for Marlo Dobb, we have, a, we have something a little bit unusual here, but it's something I saw and I just, uh, I couldn't say no to it. We have a Ouija board. A Waluigi board. I, I love this, like the art design on it's great. It's probably a little hard to read, but at the bottom it says everybody cheated. Uh, and it's, it's just, it truly captures the spirit of Waluigi. And you know, I gotta be honest, speaking of the spirit of Waluigi, I've, I never got to play around with this. Usually I, I get to mess around with stuff just a little bit before I show it off, but you know what, I'm, I'm gonna try this out. I'm, I'm sure nothing's gonna happen, but you know, I've, I've always wanted to kind of mess around with something like this. So here, here we go. It just keeps putting over the letter A over and over. Ah. <laughs> Sorry about that, everyone. I, I think I'm seeing things. I'm going to go to bed, but you guys should stay tuned as we throw it back up to the front. We get ready for Spider-Man 3, Invasion of the Spider Slayers by uh, Quasi Lloyd. Yeah. We have a $100 donation from Charonian. What's this? You got me an Awful Games block for my birthday? Oh, oh you shouldn't have. We have an anonymous $200 donation. Can't watch live from home this year, so donating from work. We have a $50 donation from Kono Rican. Awful block is awesome block. All right, now it's time for Spider-Man 3, Invasion of the Spider Slayers, run by Koal Lazy. Woo! <laughs> All right. <laughs> that's, some, that's some exciting woo over there going on, fellas. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, so welcome. Sorry. Title screen too hypnotic <laughs> <laughs> and or nauseating. Uh, a little bit of both. The, the game's not much better, so we're not getting an improvement from here. Welcome to Spider-Man 3, Invasion of the Spider Slayers. And, TM. Uh, yes, TM. It's another LGN game, which you know means quality. Oh, yeah. And uh, uh, there's not much to say before T we get started. So taste, the, taste the rainbow of LGN games. Oh, <laughs> well, on a Game Boy, you really only get two colors in that rainbow, so it's not even nearly as satisfying. But... <laughs> <clears throat> it's all right. It'd be like ripping a Band-Aid off. We're going to dive right into this game. I'm going to count it down from three. We're going on a three, two, one, and we're in. Woo! -hoo! Let's go. <laughs> so we start with an average day in the life of Spider-Man, which is wandering around in Central Park looking for muggers to beat up or shoot webs at. <laughs> and uh, that includes kids that are on skateboards eating go -Gurts. So we're going to go ahead and blast them, too. Now, we need to get 20 mm -hmm. to advance to the next stage. And uh, these guys in coats, they don't count until they pull a gun on me and uh, they might pull a newspaper instead. And nothing happens that's bad if you hit the guys with newspapers. I believe that subtracts from your uh, mugger count. It actually, I, uh, I don't think it does. It oh, subtracts it from your score, actually, oh. but not from your mugger count, which is kind of weird, because the score is completely irrelevant. You could have it loop all the way around the reel, and it won't actually give you extra lives or anything like that, so it's kind of entirely useless. Uh, one kind of the of things... good luck so far. Yeah, so far. Ah. 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 Nuts, to, nuts to that guy. <laughs> The RNG is uh, slightly manipulable here, but not by too much. Um, a lot of the times what I'll do is, like, if I have one of these guys on screen while I'm waiting for them to pull something out of the coat, I'll run back yeah. and forth, and that'll... I mean, running back and forth is pretty much the only real speed tech to speak yeah. of here, is he's trying to spawn guys as quickly as possible. Early on, I did swing up into the trees to get a power-up, and that's something that I'll be doing consistently throughout the run. The game has a couple different kinds of power-ups. Yeah, and Good luck telling the difference between them, too, because they're all just <laughs> little black dots. Yeah! <laughs> they all look the same, but they do a couple mm. different things. They increase Spider-Man's strength, they increase Spider-Man's life total, and uh, some of them either refill your health or give you brief invincibility. 
Um, the extra lives are pretty much useless to us in this run, except for one really trolly part coming up about halfway through. Uh, but it seems like we're almost done with this stage, finally. Um, the good RNG kind of petered out a little bit on us, unfortunately, but... No. Oh, nice ah. newspaper. What a jerk. What a jerk. There we go. Now we're cooking. Moving mm -hmm. along. Woo! Yeah. yeah. Game was nice enough to give us an arrow to tell us where to go, and it was actually nice enough to be accurate yes. this time, too. That will not always be the case. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm so glad that you completely voluntarily chose to play this game. Yeah, I should probably talk about the history of it. Uh, <laughs> Some kind of monster? First, I should talk about this guy. So there's a quick kill for this guy, but setting it up actually requires getting up onto the building ledges. So I'm actually going to just kick him over here because it's a little bit more consistent for the marathon. <clears throat> but basically what's going to happen is I'm going to iframe through him and just try to juggle him as much as possible. And you can't juggle indefinitely. You can kind of juggle probably two, three kicks at a time. That's about as good as it's going to get. And eventually he'll just fall off the screen. I don't really care about how much he's blasting me. My health is those three big ovals at the bottom, and you can see they're already full. <laughs> Whoa! Ooh. So the reason that I started playing this game was because I was new to streaming, didn't know where to start, and I signed up to play in Cuso Grande. And this jerk on the couch behind me decided that my very first time ever streaming anything was going to be streaming this game blind. <laughs> oh, I love it. By and the way... You, you know what I, I don't love? This stage. Yes. This stage. And I'm really glad Puexel agreed to join us here because uh. Puexel felt my pain because we made Puexel <laughs> play the game blind as well. Uh, so uh, what you don't know, everybody watching, is that I don't think anybody beat this stage in an hour. Uh, okay. No, Puexel actually did. I, no, it was Slow Beef. Was that it actually Slow Beef? Be I never finished this stage. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Slow Beef did. So these, uh, these, like, this robot bird dragon thing that keeps shooting fireballs at me, that's basically the worst RNG we can get in the stage because they, if they hit Spider-Man, you lose all collision and you fall through yeah. your web, you fall through floors, and it causes lots of problems. But here, I'm going to be setting up sort of an upside-down wall jump. And I have to damage boost to beat this boss because Spidey's leg is actually shorter than the hitbox of the boss. It you does get easier once he starts getting hits, though, because he, he's, like, kicking parts of its neck off. Because Somehow. Because, and, and yet not so, causing the head to, whatever, it's dead now. Yeah. <laughs> so how do you double jump in this game, Qual? All right, so that also requires me to talk about the physics of the game. Um, <laughs> I don't understand exactly how often <clears throat> it drops inputs, but I know it's all the time. <laughs> uh, probably about 50% of inputs that go into this controller are going to get eaten by this game. And the double jump requires two inputs oh, in rapid way, succession. Notice jewelry heist is what it we're is a on heist. now. It's yeah. a heist. <laughs> but because it eats inputs, and because you need to do some fairly well-timed uh, double inputs to do double jumps, a lot of my double jumps will get completely eaten or be timed completely wrong. And there's not really anything we can do to minimize that. I also found out this morning, don't shoot webs at the police, because they will turn around and beat the crap out of you, even though they'll <laughs> sit here and watch Electro <laughs> rob a jewelry store. So. <laughs> Oh, that spider attacked you, Spider-Man. Yes. Come on. Wow. This one more is, kick. This one is more kind kick. of bad luck. There but, we go. Yeah. Get out of here, Electro. So he ran off the screen. I'm going to go into this building instead, but for some reason, Electro's here. I don't know how that works. <laughs> uh, Electro, we'll see in this level, breaks <clears throat> physics a lot. He's going to appear on whatever floor he wants. When we just saw him at the bottom, he'll be at the top. He'll come in from the left side of the screen and leave on the, light, on the right. It's just like, it doesn't make any sense. Oh, seizure warning after this level. Oh, yes, yeah. actually. Uh, I'm probably going to take an intentional death in this stage. And after the intentional death, if you are uh, someone who has to worry about flashing lights... Also, P sort of PSA, do the hustle. Yes, purple turtle, please. Oh, yeah, purple turtle. Do the hustle. This robot in the middle is actually part of the comic series. It's part of the actual canon for the Invasion of the Spider Slayers storyline, which I haven't read, but I read the Wikipedia, and I figured that's probably good enough. <laughs> By the way... Kowal is making this game look playable, but it's anything but. Yeah. I mean, when I played this for an hour, I, I mean, that Twin Tower stage that he beat in like 30 seconds or so, I was stuck on for almost the full hour because <laughs> actually figuring out how to climb up to the top using those web swinging mechanics is uh, not too easy to do blind. And also that's, I believe, the last intended use of those mechanics too. Is, Basically, uh, yeah. There are some places we're supposed to use it later, but it's actually just way easier to not do that. 
Um, and there, there's an unintended use of uh, the web swing that uh, is coming up to yeah. a few minutes. <laughs> it's pretty special. That'll be, uh, well, that's only a couple minutes away, really. Mm -hmm. So this is another one of those problems, as I was mentioning, where each inputs from your double jumps. And there's not much you can do about that. You just sort of have to keep trying until mash, you get it. mash and pray. Yeah. So what I'll try to do is, and you may notice I keep facing Spider-Man down when I do wall jumps. That's because uh, Spider-Man's direction changes based on how he's facing when right, you now we get the, the fun wall. now we get the fun part of the stage yeah, yeah it looks like i'm just running left and right for no reason but there's actually a reason for it and it's because oh, oh, elect oh, oh, no oh, oh. i screwed it up so electro has to shoot this high voltage switch and electro's a jerk and spawns wherever and whenever he wants oh oh oh, oh there we go i got oh, it hey, hey. hey there we go and i believe you said you had to Kill yourself and start the uh, stage over. Usually, in I take an yeah. intentional death here, but yeah. Uh, notice that his time limit is very low now. He has to escape oh, yeah. before the building explodes or something, and that involves having to do a, kind of a tight double jump. There we go. We got it. Here. I I never was able to beat that level. It's it's so difficult. I don't think most casual players ever even made it that far. That level's no. dumb. I was hardly able to move when I played it. Yeah. <laughs> Getting like, Spider-Man to do anything but strut around. He does have a very stylish strut. There's no question yeah. there. He's really, he's power walking. Like, even just climbing a wall is difficult to do. It's... Nice stage, by the way. Oh, <laughs> <It's good. laughs> Woo! Woo! Well done. That was 3-1? Yeah, that was 3-1. So we're in the Tinkerer's Workshop now, and Tinkerer never gets any actual screen time, but <laughs> um, we're going to be doing five stages in Tinkerer's Factory, which makes it the largest area in the game. Well, and, I mean, there was uh, no, there's no apostrophe there, so it just might be multiple Tinkerers. There could be that, a whole bunch, uh, a bevy of Tinkerers, if you yeah. will. Um, but this is going to require some of the more difficult platforming in the game, and it's largely difficult because of the way that Spider-Man leaves walls and how bad double jumping actually is when it comes to the controls. There we go. Nice. Right. That, that's impressive. Yes, it was climbing stairs. <laughs> climbing <laughs> stairs is actually the thing Spider-Man is the worst at. And, uh, <laughs> I will intentionally be doing double jumps, which again, eat your inputs and require I mean, two the guy rapid inputs. The guy gets around by swinging from rooftops. I mean, taking stairs <laughs> has got to be a... Uh, it's, yeah, it's a step down. got to be a bad day for him when he actually has to climb stairs. So it looks like in a lot of these places I can get it on one shorter cycle. You absolutely can't. Uh, Spider-Man's landing animation actually it takes longer than his jump animation does. And so trying to get him to go <laughs> anywhere rapidly is impossible. It's so dumb. So we're just going to wait for this to come up here. We're going to pop up that way, wait for this thing to take its tour. There we go. Wow. Oh, we do get the up arrow, by the way, too. It's to remind I us mean, that there's only yeah. one way to go. There we go. <laughs> hey! I'm really happy to first try that. Getting that first try. Oh, oh, Because if you crap. get hit, I believe you fall through the platform. Yeah, there's planes that fly through the level, and if they want to be mean to you, they'll drop bombs on you. You can't avoid them. There's nothing you can do. And if they hit you, you actually lose collision and clip through the platforms and die. Mm-hmm. So this is the game's auto-scroller. There's a couple special things about it. I'll show this off. So it's an auto-scroller, but I'm standing on the right. It's going nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just got to back away, okay? Yeah, the, you, you, you can't be too eager here. Give me room. You need I to sit back scroll. and enjoy the scrolling. So okay. this fire, how much damage does it do? So the fire does usually about a half a dot of your health, and it will knock you back and stop your, uh, your momentum. The scary part is the tube the fire comes out of is instant death. <laughs> <laughs> Which doesn't matter much when it's in the ceiling, but we have one coming up on the floor. So when I mentioned earlier I might get trolled, and that's why I get the extra lives in the marathon, that will be why. Um, I have had it kill me six times in a row. Nothing you can do about it. The fire hits you in midair, and it stops your collision and your momentum, and you drop into the pipe and you die. I don't remember how to crawl. Uh, you just hold down and right. Oh, okay. That's actually the <laughs> one, one of, thing one easy One of the to few do. mechanics in this game that's intuitive. I do it by accident all the time. It's actually the worst. <laughs> Oh, no! See, oh. Just, just, dem just, a, just a demonstration. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Clearly, that was just to show off. Yeah. And did you? I think if you touch the left side of the screen, you die. You are also instantly <laughs> okay. dead if you touch the left side. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's Spider-Man. Heaven help you if you actually do touch the left side of the screen with how scroll the, slow this oh. auto scroller is. I did it one time because I was doubling back for some reason, and I wound up touching it and being like, "Oh, yeah. don't do that." All right, noted. I like how nice. It actual background doesn't move at all. It's like you're just on yeah, a giant but, It's a big conveyor, yeah. Yeah. But do remember how we said earlier, too, that there's that, I mean, there was one, only one, like, real serious intended use of the uh, kind of 
web swinging mechanics in the game, and that there's a uh, a little less than intended one, and that that's in this stage. Yeah, the only skip in the entire run is actually coming up right after this jump, provided that the fire decides not to kill me this time. <laughs> hey! Oh. hey! That jump is so hard. J just just <laughs> jumping over an, a simple obstacle is a feat in this game with the physics. We're not Yay! supposed to be able to go that way. Whoa! Yeah, that's. There's actually an entire like little obstacle course thing with bombs that come out of a chute that's after that. It adds like 25 seconds to the run, so that skip is uh, very welcome. It's not super dangerous, weirdly enough. You'd think that chutes dropping bombs is really bad, but it's actually way safer than the rest of the stage. <laughs> All right, so here All is right. the scorpion fight. It has a weird mechanic to it that is required, but first I'm going to try to juggle him. I want to hit him six times, which I just got. This is, this is unskippable, too, what he's about to have to do. I believe it's... He, there we go. Yeah. Yes, he, once uh, he's gotten a certain amount into the fight, one of the spider slayers, I guess, of the... Uh, it's like a little brain eater. It's like a Metroid of, or something. Of the game name will grab you and will start draining your health. And then in, before I think this, in order to even be able to kill the scorpion, you have to <laughs> get him to shoot it off you first. Yeah, it even locks your attack button, so you can't do anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a spider slayer. <laughs> <laughs> so we get three mini bosses. This is actually my favorite stage by quite a lot because the web shooter becomes useful again. I can sort of stun these yeah. guys. Or Which last seen in one one, I think. Yeah. Nice. I got the quick kill on that one. That doesn't happen very often. Ooh. They usually take three kicks to the face, sometimes four. Getting it on two is really rare. Uh, let's see. I can confirm that the web shooter does work on the. Mecha bird in the Twin Towers stage. Sort of. It doesn't do any damage to yeah, him, Yeah, I mean, it gets it to go away faster and leave you alone. That is uh, oh. faster than I've ever killed those two bosses combined, so that actually went really well. Um, the second one moves super fast at whatever angle he wants from whatever side of the screen he wants, and the only thing you can do to stop him is to hit him with the web shooter, and he spins around yeah. long enough for you to get in position to kick. I believe getting the, the, a good kill on the second one let you save the health refill before the third one, too. Yeah, yeah. it makes a big difference here. Because this guy's going to hit me. I have to damage boost to hit him. Got him. Nah. Whee! So fun fact about that level, if you don't hold right, you'll actually just fall to your death. You actually have to hold right to complete the <laughs> transition. So yeah, remember how we said the uh, arrows aren't always uh, truthful? They're not very helpful, yeah. yeah. That, if you just go down like, like the arrow tells you, you die. It's You're, great. You actually need to go right instead of down. Big bug. Big so bug. this actually mirrors the comics in a way that's really interesting. The sprite work in this game actually looks like the illustration from this comic series. And uh, at the end of this scene, the three robots combine to form that guy, and he's apparently super threatening. I don't know why. <laughs> Spooky. <laughs> well, good job. LJN did one thing right. There's uh, at the end when we see the credits, one of the positions in the five yeah, positions. No, no let's, let's not spoil it yet. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Let's, yeah. Let's, let's, okay. Secret entrance. Oh, this is another. This is another amazing stage too. Yep. This is a very long stage. It's very complex. All right, we're done. Uh, oh, yeah. How was it a secret entrance? It was right I think, there. Well, I believe there was a yeah. power up you skipped too. Yeah, it's an extra life power up. I haven't actually taken more than one death this run, so I've decided to be a little more risky. Mm -hmm. Enhance the 5 1 experience. Yeah. Ooh. Get to the 5 2 now with these uh, dudes on recumbent bicycles that want to shoot lightning or something at me. I'm not really sure what's <laughs> yeah. going on here. Um, I mean, but they I mean, have you, a cycle that you can actually. Yeah, and if he gets into this rhythm too where you're just, just kind of kicking them, they, I believe they just, it, it's either them or like nothing in the game can hurt you when they're in hit stun. Yeah, they, um, specifically these guys too, the way they move is if I get my kick at the last possible frame to do damage to them. They will actually iframe the entire way through their animation through my body and do no damage. <laughs> it's not super common, but it happens often enough because uh, honestly, all the dropped inputs mean there's only so many frames to go around, I guess. <laughs> 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 all right, so we're on the final boss now. Uh, I need to kick him 17 times. Now, the reason I've been collecting all these power-ups is if I don't collect them, it takes 59 kicks. Oh. <laughs> Wait, even if you just miss one? Yeah. Oh. So we're going to do 17 kicks, and it'll be time when he drops off the screen. So that's one, two, three, wow. four, five, six, seven. <laughs> you, could, you know what? We could have done a eight, donation incentive for him to do low nine, percent. Oh, oh man. Nine, ten. Be here for, for 11, quite a bit longer. 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, time. Woo! It's over! Made it. Oh, this has the best ending in video games, yes. by the way. So this, not, this, end, this, this, 
This ending is commentary on the run, too. Yes. He feels no triumph, <laughs> no rush of victory. <laughs> Only sickness at the near loss of life. <laughs> and the bone-weary relief that at last it's over. Ta-da, Spider-Man 3. Yes. And so, the credits, too. Yes. So the fourth position on this list of this five-person team is the Spidey Consultant. And for all the complaints we might have about this game, the Spidey Consultant did a great job. If you actually look at you know, the yeah. way that it was structured in the storyline. Notice story how the, the Spidey Consultant multitasked as a design uh, engineer, <laughs> yes. too. Thank you, Spidey. Thank you, Spidey, for saving the day. <laughs> and like every great game, the credit roll is five people, and we go right back to the title screen. So... <laughs> All right. So that's it for Spider-Man 3. Thank you guys for letting me show off whatever this is. 